Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And this video is about ketone powders. Are they good or bad? And uh, let me just put it uh, straight to you right away. There's research that shows that ketosis is good. It reverses uh, cancer and heart disease. And there's other research that shows that ketosis is not good. And the difference is that when the research shows ketosis is good, it's because it was achieved naturally with the diet. Then there's the other research that shows that when they use ketone powders, that actually causes harm, um, especially in the light of heart disease or cancer. So here's the deal. You got ketones in the blood down here, and you want them to come up, and then the, ins the uh, glucose and insulin both need to go down. You know what else needs to go down is the IGF-1, which is a growth factor hormone. You don't want to have growth as an adult. You want to have repair. Kids use growth hormone uh, to get bigger, but if you're an adult and you have high, high IGF-1, that means you could be growing cancer cells or other pathological tissue. But when you just take ketone powder without lowering the glucose or without lowering the insulin or without lowering the inter, uh, IGF-1 growth factor hormone, um, and these stay high, now you have high ketones and at the same time, high these other factors and that's never been in our history as humans walking on the planet that's never existed before so this could be a pathological state and the initial research shows that it is so you don't want to take ketone powders which then would um, artificially raise ketones despite these being high at the same time now some people sell ketone powders and say look it's helpful to push the cells, to push the mitochondria into um, using ketones as a fuel. And I guess I could agree with that. And then you could say, well, once you're in ketosis and these are lower, then it's okay to take ketone powders to keep you in ketosis. But you could also say, well, if you're in ketosis, then why would you use ketone powders anyways? Because you already have that naturally occurring. So um, I used to sell ketone powders. I actually did a video about this. And I deleted the video probably four months ago, five months ago, because I don't sell ketone powders anymore and I don't tell my patients to use ketone powders anymore. So that's the truth and this may be harming somebody's income, the multi-level marketing income or the health food store income, but um, I don't want you taking ketone powders. All right, so if you like this information, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe. Thank you.